This week on our Planes TV retrospective, we'll look back to the Farnborough International Air Show 2016 and the Gripping display. Hi, I'm Ian and this is Rob and this week we're looking at the Farnborough International Air Show 2016. Yeah, it's a great air show. It's, you know, it's one of the biggest trade shows in the world. You know, companies buying and selling in the millions, which, geez, wouldn't we all have to have that, eh? Um, but yeah, you know, great show, completely exhausting start for us. Mm. We've just come from Riyadh, uh, literally the night before. So uh, I think we got off Fairford at about 10 o'clock at night. Something like that, which isn't too bad for us with a big it's, knockdown, you know, a lot of big team and lots of people to get yeah, to various places. But. And I think we got to the hotel at 1 a.m., got a quick snack, got up again for about half four. Something like get that. The rest of the way to Farnborough, Something yeah. Like that. And, we were, <laughs> and we were kicking out live at, uh, I don't know, midday ish, I suppose, or for the afternoon yeah. flying display anyway. Which yeah. is, oh. you know, it's the capability we now have with the nice trailer, um, but mm. yeah, it still could be a little smoother, I think, and uh, and well worthwhile as well. Farnbus flying display always brings some interesting types together. We have all the airliners, the A350, 380, Boeing 737 MAX 8, which is its debut, having flown for the first time earlier in the year. And later on in the week, I got excited about things like the Optica, and uh, we also had the Comet from uh, the Shuttleworth collection, which I hadn't seen fly. I, you know, I'm not sure if I've ever seen fly. Uh, it has been doing back in the air for a few years now, I think. But uh, uh, I find that hard to believe. But I haven't. I seen can't believe it. there's anything that you haven't seen here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, I probably will have done when I was a kid. But. <laughs> and okay, Farnborough's uh, flight line, it's all a bit higher, further away, and there are restrictions on certain areas. The Farnborough Bowl, of course. Um, means you don't get what you might do at the Shuttleworth collection, but yeah, lovely aeroplane to see. It was nice to see the uh, well, the F-35 for the second time. Of course. Um, it felt like an old know, friend by that time. <laughs> yeah, it did. We'd, we'd seen it a number of times at Ria, mm. and then for it to just come along to Farnborough. Bearing in mind, was, that we spend, Rob and I spend like Tuesday through to, as you say, <laughs> 10 o'clock Sunday, and uh, yeah, practice displays and all of that. So mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we'd seen them a few times, and the Farnborough display was a little more restrictive. Obviously, you don't get the vertical landing, but still lovely to see. For me, though, I always like seeing the F eighteen, mm -hmm. yeah. Super Hornet. It's just cool. It's the it's a square loop. You know, whenever you see that in the sky, it's just like, mm -hmm. how do you even do that? You know, it's amazing. It's a bit of a, might sound like a bit of a weird thing to say, but you always get a very good understanding of how things like uh, elevators work with the F-18, these great big barn door <laughs> elevators that, as you say, pull it through a, a tight turn on the corner of a square loop. Uh, good one for a STEM example of how e um, elevators work at some point. So do you not want to do your oh, okay, highlight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't have to. <laughs> I only put it in there. For Rob's for written a little bit in the script here uh, for me to uh, draw attention to the highlight being getting off on diesel fumes from the generator which we've been stuck next to. Which, ha, it's all very funny but actually <laughs> diesel fumes are not something you want to spend seven days stood next to but you know, the, this is the struggle we go to to bring live air shows to you. <laughs> so I, by the time we'd finished Farnborough, you know, that was, it was the, it felt like the end of a very long road of uh, air shows. I mean, by no means was it a last of the season, but we'd just come from Yeovilton and then obviously straight onto Ria and then straight into Farnborough. I think I'd, I think by that point I'd been away from home for about 17 days. Mm, yeah. Um, I was just ready for bed. Yeah, they were, hard days. they were hard days they as well. Were. Thanks I remember again for your work. <laughs> oh, you know, any time. <laughs> uh, I remember getting back to Lincoln and just just falling down. Yes. And I think I maybe got about 13 hours sleep that night or something like that. Yeah, that sounds and about right. Felt, felt great. Yeah, try coming home to six month old. Anyway, less said about that. Hey, uh, hey, I live with George. <laughs> <laughs> George is our sound man. Okay, let's see what George, Rob and I managed to come up with this excerpt, the grip and display from Farnborough last year, complete with an interview with the display pilot. Hello, my name is uh, Captain Peter Follen. I'm the display pilot of the grip and uh, aircraft flying here at uh, Farnborough. It's 
been a very nice flying here in Farnborough. It's the first time for me. Uh, we just arrived from uh, the air show in uh, Fairford, so it's been a really, really nice flying here for the first time. To fly the Gripen aircraft, uh, it uh, has a lot of features that makes it easy for us as a pilot. Uh, you can say it's as a carefree maneuvering system. So I just pull the stick and the aircraft handles everything. So that's that's basically it about the aircraft. Yeah, in my uh, normal uh, duty I fly as an operational pilot and instructor pilot and we use this aircraft uh, without modifications. We use it at home as uh, in daily production we uh, do air to ground uh, sorties, air to air and also recce. So uh, no modification, it's uh, uh, an aircraft from the daily, uh, daily flight line. I'm a pilot uh, and uh, especially a display pilot in Sweden, it's a lot of uh, uh, tryouts. So for being a display pilot in the Swedish Air Force, uh, you uh, apply and then you've been picked from one of, uh, of many uh, applicants and then you train. The, the maneuvers I do is what the, most of the pilots can do, but the, the unique thing is that I do it on a very low level and I put them together. So to be uh, able to do that, and uh, to, you must train a lot and you must uh, be allowed to do it on low level. And it's quite a hard work and, uh, to, to build the, the sequences so they will fit to each other, to make it uh, safe and to make it look good as well. This week we have a 50% discount on the 2016 Vimeo On Demand Farnborough product. That includes all the special features available on the DVD and Blu-ray. Just use the offer code GRIPPEN. Until Monday 10th of April there's also a 50% discount on all previous Farnborough DVDs and Blu-rays. They stem right back to the 1990 show where you'll see the likes of Concord. For more info take a look at what's available on plainstv.com. Those offers both expire on the 10th of April 2017. That's about it from us, we'll leave you with the highlights from the show.